What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Another How to Cop Guide actually is what we're going to break down today. We're going to be breaking down the Adidas Yeezy Slide Blacks, which is a brand new colorway never before seen, which is kind of new to this uh, year so far. We've seen a lot of restocks and re releases of Yeezy Slides until this Monday. We're going to be seeing a brand new colorway come out in men's, preschool, and toddler sizes. And it's going to be quite the interesting release because so far at this time of recording, we don't have many retailers actually even confirming the drop, just a handful. And that's about it. So this video, we're going to break down some of the uh, release procedures, resale predictions, and a quick little hold or sell now. And if you guys want to learn a much more about those lease and a whole lot of other ways to make some extra money, you can check out my group, Tiny Boy TV Post. We cover a lot more than just shoes, although that's our priority. We cover sports cards, low-key flips, which is personally my favorite category. I've been getting into that pretty heavily. Ticket flips, botting information, NFT info, crypto info, which is a little bit down in the dumps, as we all know, and a whole lot of other features as well. So check that out if you're interested. Once again, link is in the description. And we got some cool t-shirts coming as well. I'm really excited for those. Finally getting some printed. And anyways, though, a little bit on, off track. Here we got the adidas.com forward slash Yeezy. So as you can see right now, nothing to do with Yeezy slides. And for some reason, they reloaded the 380s on here, which is very weird to see, but we'll leave that as it is. We got the Vantas dropping once again on the 19th, which is tomorrow at the time of filming. Uh, by the time watching this, might be a little bit later on. This shoe all in all is uh, pretty decent, but that's not what we're here to talk about. So as you can see, Adidas doesn't have it loaded, but once they do, which I'm estimating to be Friday or Saturday, they're gonna load them up for a confirmed raffle. So all you gotta do is open up Adidas confirmed app and it'll show up on the home screen, or you're gonna have to go to the in-store raffle, which if you're lucky enough to have a good Adidas account near you, you can enter an Adidas in-store raffle, which is an Adidas store. But remember, not all stores have these raffles open. You gotta actually activate your in-store experience via the app. Not to confirm that, but the Adidas app. And then you go to confirm it, and you have to actually be within that range. They use like a Bluetooth radars, and they actually have to confirm that you're within that specific location to enter. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not too difficult. Uh, and then at the end of the day, you're gonna have to bet your hopes on confirm that, hopefully giving you a W. Now your second option here is Easy Supply, which is a little sad because a lot of manual people have not been able to check out. It's basically a botter's paradise. This is where everyone pretty much just makes their money. Uh, for the most part, unless you're losing all the money on proxies and just becoming a non-profit organization, this is a supply where you can, you know, hopefully get a good amount of checkouts if you're really going crazy for it. Now, manual is possible. I have checked out in the past uh, month and a half or so on the 350s, but once again, it is very, very slim pickings over here. Then we got a DTLR, one of the actual only US retailers and boutiques out there that have these confirmed, and they actually have them loaded up for the wrong date. They got them loaded up for Sunday, August 21st, which maybe they're actually dropping on the 21st just themselves. Maybe they got some exclusive partnership that they're gonna be able to drop early, but I don't think that'll be the case. I think as it gets closer to the drop, they're gonna realize what they did and they're gonna switch it to Monday. Never ever have Yeezy slides ever dropped on a Sunday like this before. So keep that in mind. Once again, retail on these is gonna be 70 US dollars. DTLR is one of the more heavy Heavily bought it sites out there and it is Shopify. So chances of getting on these manual is pretty slim unless you're going at these crazy with a whole lot of tasks. But uh, they might also do some insta reservations, insta raffles as well. So make sure you stay tuned with your local one. Now, one of the only high tier boutiques at the moment that has a raffle confirmed is going to be Dover Street Market, Los Angeles. They actually have a raffle open up until uh, Friday, August 19th, and then it's going to end up closing at that date. So make sure you guys get your entries in as soon as possible, and the release is Monday, August 22nd. Now, DSM will also hold an online release on the 22nd, but once again, another Shopify site that is pretty much just down in the dumps and really, really hard to touch manually, but still is possible if you know the proper tips and tricks. And that's really all in all, that's all that's really confirmed out of the U. Actually, there's one other retail that honestly, no offense, I haven't heard of ever, which is Soul Play ATL. Uh, it's a store near Atlanta, I'm assuming, and it's gonna be dropping on 22nd at the uh, specific boutique. And it's an insta raffle. So if you're near there, make sure you go ahead and get your entries in as well. It looks to be pretty low key as well. So I might've just burnt a loop for somebody, I apologize. But uh, it's like, literally that's three only boutiques and ra uh, retailers actually have these confirmed for this Monday. Now, another retailers I want to expect to load up eventually is going to be JD Sports and Finish Line, a really, really healthy uh, site right here to go for manually. They might even do some exclusive access later on additionally. If they do that, great way to cop, and they're going to drop at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So once again, with the easy drops, you don't have to be up earlier than any Nike or Jordan releases out there, just because the fact of the matter is that that's just when they drop, retailer-wise. Easy supply will be probably earlier around 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Retailers, some specific ones might be around 7 a.m. or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, as with majority of these easy releases. Now, sometimes they do change, but that's how they uh, typically do go. Now, in addition to those sites, you're going to have Kith, Concepts, and all your other big boutiques also dropping these, mostly 
actually give you raffles. And once again, they should be opening up Friday. So a little bit of time to get ready and get situated. Concepts, Kith, Extra Butter. You got all these other big chain retailers. B uh, Billionaire Boys Club, very, very good retailer. I like him a lot. I'm probably just going to do a first come, first serve drop. Not many raffles. They do unless it's specifically in store. And then, uh, yeah, basically your whole entire release. I mean, you got social status. I'm a Minier APB store, the whole Whitaker group. Uh, they're going to have these most likely as well. So once again, pretty good shoe. Once again, should be a pretty wide release. And uh, hopefully you can actually end up getting it up because right now they're not looking to be too profitable, which I'm really, really surprised. Once again, a newer colorway right here that hasn't come out in the past and it's selling, they're just slowly going down. So it looks like the back door out there is open heavily at some establishments and they're just slowly going down and down. Now, do I think they'll go up after the release? I think it will take some time. Right now, it's just like Yeezy Slide Overload. We had Yeezy Slide, the Onyxes come out. Then we had Yeezy Day, which had some more on uh, Yeezy sides come out. Now, once again, these did come out already. It was like a very, very small release on Yeezy Day 2022. They did come out. It was the first Yeezy to actually drop. You had to scroll through into a blog. And on the blog, they had a shop link. And then you were able to check out that way. Now, some members did cook through that way. But once again, it wasn't such a big release that really should be affecting market to this point. Uh, so that's the only way you could have caught previously to the release date. Now, once again, where do I see these going? Probably a little bit more downwards, probably around the 110, 100, 100 dollar range for most sizes. The bigger size, I expect to hold up a lot better. Like a 14, 15, 16 in easy slides always holds up the best. They're super, super rare and much harder to get. Now, of course, if you're going for sites, you kind of just want to cop a couple pairs. Now, if you're trying to get multiple pairs out here, I definitely recommend going for a quantity over quality. I definitely stick to smaller size. You have a better chance of actually getting the W as uh, compared to you going for bigger size and capping one to two pairs and, you know, slim, slim chances over there with those sizes. If we take a look at some of the recent ones like Yeezy Slide Onyxes, they've also held up a little bit better. I mean, of course, it goes for bigger sizes, smaller sizes right now are once again a little bit more heavily undercut. And there's a lot of people selling these smaller sizes. Although depending on your area and store, they sometimes do tend to be more on demand. So I personally am going to end up holding these pairs, but it's going to be for quite a while uh, just because I feel more comfortable doing it that route. Now, once again, summer's coming to an end. So a lot of people aren't really thinking about Yeezy Slides anymore. They were in the beginning of the summer, as I stressed heavily. That's when people are really thinking about sides and buying them. That's when we saw prices go up. But that's also when we saw a ton of restocks. So that being said, I'd probably wait until spring, which is a pretty lengthy holding period for some people out there, which it may not be worth at the end of the day. So, you know, if you're going to want to wait for 40 extra dollars, a couple like eight months or so, then go ahead and continue holding. But if you don't want to do that, and I consider just selling now and definitely don't rely on StockX and go for this specific shoe. I definitely recommend going on the eBay route at the least at the minimum go the ebay route and if you can go to stores local consignment or sell locally through like facebook marketplace offer up and let go that's absolutely your best best bet now initially rumored was also to see another bone restock on the sides but right now no legit zero retailers have these load up so these might load up only up on a uh, yeezy supply or adidas confirmed that's tba once again not confirmed so i'm not going to really talk about that too much once again this is another heavily sold easy slide and a heavily in demand easy slide a little bit more than the flax one thing i also do got to stress a lot of people really don't know about the these flax colorway just yet i haven't seen a ton of blogs pick them up i haven't seen a ton of people really talking about these as they are because the release it hasn't come out yet isn't confirmed and a lot of retailers aren't posting about them yet so once again once i think that traction picks up i think we'll see a little bit of a spike right on release date once people catch those l's but as on the orders coming i do see them dipping down a little bit more and go market right now is just about the same a little bit uh, like a couple bucks higher in some small some sizes smaller sizes specifically but really not much of a big difference because you do pay a little bit more of a fee on goat so all in all i'd say definitely must cop for this monday would not sleep on them so hope you guys the best of luck catch you guys the next one peace